want you to repeat this word, Om Shanti. Om Shanti. I mean, can you repeat it with love? Om Shanti. With a little smile on your faces, Om Shanti. With a lot of energy and enthusiasm, Om Shanti. Namaste and good evening. Uh, Shri Radha Gopinath Prabhuji, uh, respected Brahma Kumari sisters and my dear brothers and sisters. It's always a pleasure to be here, uh, addressing, talking, interacting, sharing uh, the little that I know and I understand and what I've experienced to people who are interested in understanding life. And as Brother was mentioning, emotional healing in today's turbulent times happens to be one of the most sought after. <clears throat> I will not take much time because we are already, um, you know, 7.20. I'll take another 15 to 20 minutes, friends. Uh, only to emphasize certain realities of life. And I, I'll share one beautiful experience that recently I've had when I was in Delhi and we were doing a program for the different forces. And uh, we had two groups, one the army officers, the other were the JCOs. And with the army officers, when I greeted them and I asked a very casual question, how is your life? So if I ask you the same question, this wonderful August gathering, how is your life? What would be your response? Yeah. Oh. So I can think of three probable answers. One, good. Now good includes everything you can think of super, brilliant, wonderful, awesome, all adjectives to it. That's the first category. <clears throat> the second one happens to be the exactly opposite of that, not good. Yeah. A lot of challenges, problems, difficulties. And the third option could be okay. Neither good nor bad, it's okay. Sometimes good, sometimes not good. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. So there in the audience, I asked uh, the army officers to raise their hands if their ha answer happens to be in the first category, that is good. So those of you who feel that your life is good, please raise your hand. <coughs> yeah. And don't feel disheartened that the person sitting next to you has raised your, the hand. And why am I not able to raise the hand? Oh, that's okay. I mean, that's the reality. <clears throat> so then I asked the audience that can you share how and why is your life good? How do I know that your life is good? And I want to understand it. You said your life is good, but I want to understand how is your life good? So there was this brilliant gentleman, he raised his hand, I said, please sir, go ahead. He stood up, very confidently he said, my life is good because my wife is good. <laughs> and few people who are victims to those kind of husband and wife, they are clapping the most. <laughs> that I can't clap because he or she is not good. I mean, we all burst into laughter. I said, is that the only reason? Oh, no, 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 let me finish. I said, go ahead. He said, my life is good because my children are good. Uh -huh. That was interesting. He said, my life is good because my reporting manager is good. <laughs> Whom I report to is good. And then he said, my life is good because my mother my in-laws, they are good. <laughs> because if you have to love your in-law, it has to be as per law. 
You cannot love without law. That's why they call it as mother-in-law. You can do anything and everything with your mother, but you cannot do anything and everything. It has to be as per law. Because she happens to be a mother-in-law. I don't know who coined it mother-in-law and for what reason. Prabhuji, you should throw light on that. Yeah. And you know, the irony of life is, all related to marriage and in-laws, we ask a sannyasi only. <laughs> they will file a lawsuit against me if I speak. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll not trouble you on that. Maybe your brother can respond to it. <laughs> That's interesting. So, because my parents, in-laws are good, that's why my life is good. Then he said, my life is good because my job is good. My financial health is good, bank balance, property, sampati, dhan, you know, is good. My life is good because health of the near and dear one, everything is good. And when he finished, then I asked a very simple question. And I want you to think about it because that makes the basis of today's topic and that is emotional healing. So then I said, Sir, I really appreciate your answer, but I have one simple question. He said, go ahead, Girish. I said, Sir, if very specifically I would have had to understand about all those things what you answered, I would have very specifically answered how is your wife, how is your children, how is your job? How is your boss? How is your mother? How is your health? How is financial health? I did not ask any of those questions. My question was, how is life? If life is equal to wife, kids, job, law, in-law, then sorry friends, we are not celebrating on the also. Then my dependency of the quality of my life is all external. If wife upar niche ho rahi hai, to girish ka life bhi upar niche ho And I'm speaking at the emotional level. Yes or no? Yes. For some reason, my son doesn't listen to me, then mama is in agitation. So, one thing we need to understand is what is life? So, what's life? Balancing. Of what? Balancing the feelings. Yeah, and I couldn't balance it, you know. Yesterday I came from Lucknow. North India is burning. And my throat couldn't handle it. Believe me. You sit in the car, it is AC. You come out of it, it's all in. Believe me. Mother Nature is showing the wrath on us. So what is life? My little understanding of life. Please correct me. I may be wrong. But that's my little understanding. And that's what, you know, God wants us to understand. And Prabhuji very, very beautifully, he said, we need to understand three things. And maybe if we can understand life, I think life would become much more simple. My little understanding of life is, life doesn't happen outside of you. Life happens within you. And till the time I give this freedom or independence of whatever happening outside will determine my emotional state. Till that time, I will be a slave to the external environment. And primarily, spirituality starts with this understanding that whatever happens within me, there is only one person which determines and that is me. It's not the environment. And you know, the problem is not this understanding, the problem is the misunderstanding of life. And you know who created this misunderstanding? With due respect, I was sharing with Amma that, I mean, in just in one of the conversations, that I lost my mother 16 years back when she came and hugged me today here. I, I, I shared it that I felt my mother is hugging me. And that was such a beautiful moment. <coughs> and with due respect, <coughs> with due respect, you know, the misunderstanding was caused by my mother with due respect. And not to miss my father also. Not to miss my teacher also. 
not to miss religion, people, elders, society, books. And with a very heavy heart, I'm saying it, not to blame anybody. I'll tell you how. So when I was a small child, when I was in maybe first standard, six years of age, the first year of my schooling, that is five years, my 500 GB hard disk was empty. And my mother right-clicked and created a new file and a folder. And I'm still operating with that file and folder and having a great misunderstanding about life because that file and folder kept on being reinforced by this beautiful world. And that's what I think we will have to open our eyes and see what's the reality. So let me share. So I was not a very studious student. I mean, you cannot expect a first standard child to be very studious, very sincere, very disciplined. And she kept on struggling with forcing me to irikada padiki, sit and study, sit and study. Every child cannot sit and study, you know. Some child can run and study also. <laughs> I mean, that's a fact. Some, some kids may be kinesthetically appealing. Some could be only hearing. So, but the mother compares. Girl is so good, she sits and studies. And you idiot, you keep on running here and there. But mama, you ask me a question, I'll answer. That's not important. Sit and study is important. With due respects to all the mother. I mean, I was the later part of the kid who run here and there. But I did not match her standards of studying so i did not and finally when she got frustrated you know she asked me in hindi kitna marks milega how much marks would you get now the first understanding of life which is there in your mind also life is equal to getting is having and nobody told me it's my dear darling sweet mother she also did not know that she is creating a virus infected file onto my sister because her mother also did the same that's how life operates you know when she said how much you will get are you like an innocent child i said there ko kitna chahi and that was the beauty how much do you want because mujhe to nahi bhi milega to bhi chalega even if i get 30 i'm okay with it but she was not okay she wanted 100 out of 100. Now let me tell you reality. 30 year old mother, 6 year old child. 30 year old mother's happiness is dependent on the 6 year old child's effort. Who is mature? Who is vulnerable? Who is weak? So 30 years of existence, not an experience of peace. I mean, the good emotions. <clears throat> and let me tell you something more interesting. Indian psychology. I am not in pain because I did not get any gift from the sisters. I am more in pain because Prabhuji got everything. <laughs> she also got a feta. And they gave me to give it to him. So it's not only getting, I should get, but the pain he gets, he is getting more. I'll tell you how. Again, right click, open a new file in a folder. My dear, darling, sweet, wonderful, divine mother. So when I finished my exams, came home, waited for the result, one fine day, I took the report card, happily came home. Mommy ne kaha, kitna mila? I said, you see. And she looked at it, she smiled, her eyes were bright because I got 75% marks. Maybe she was happy looking at the reality, 75 was little on the extra side. Because I'm not my mom. That's a different story. But within half an hour, she came back to me and gave me two big tight slaps. And I was really taken aback. And the reason for the two tight slap is my neighbor got 90% marks. 
मेरे को 75 मिला वो प्रॉब्लम नहीं था मेरे तो झापड़ का कारण इको 90 मिला now the next day onwards I started going to Hanuman temple and I said मेरे को कितना मिले प्रॉब्लम नहीं है इसको नहीं मिलना था क्योंकि अगर इसको मिलेगा तो झापड़ मुझे मिलेगा now that's life so today uh, 26 year old IT professional and engineering grad goes to the office and a performance appraisal time I am more worried how much the other person is getting and why is the other getting because I contributed more I was sincere I was honest where is emotional stability and healing place? and we are saying it is because of COVID lockdown job loss but we are not understanding the subtle, you know, programming of how I am looking and holding life. So it's very, very, as Brother was mentioning, Prabhuji was mentioning, it's high time that we go across to each and every, forget about spirituality, friends. It's telling people about what life is. And that is how we can make a beautiful world. A beautiful world where life is not all about getting and having. It's something more than that. And let me tell you something more interesting. The second virus infected five. It's all about doing. First is having, second is doing. And I'll tell you how it happened. So when I you know got into senior secondary school, 11th standard, 12th standard, when you start maturing and every time you know, the most hated person on planet Earth was my uncle, I mean, neighbor uncle. Because he had only one perennial question to ask me. Tu kya kar raha hai? Kha raha hai. Aray, kha raha hai nahi hai, kar kya raha hai? Ato dikh nahi raha hai kya kha raha hai. Kha raha hai is not important. Engineering kar raha hai kya? Doctor bane ka kya? And then it was so sad that he had no other question. And I hated him the most. And I think all the parents were like this. Because my mom, when I was in the 11th standard, the first question, what bothered her more than me? You will become big, what will you do? So life, what will you do? So life was all about karma. With due respect to all meditators also. You know, few people who are into meditation and they have certain challenges of concentration and ekagrata, they come and tell me, and maybe when I'm counseling somebody, <clears throat> you know, the first question they ask me, Sir, meditation me kya karna hai? Mene ko kuch karna nahi hai, ye karna hai problem. <laughs> Sir, humko life me bohat problem hai, hum kya kare? You know, what you're doing is a problem. And we equate life success and experience with doing, doing, doing. Having, doing, getting, becoming in the drivenness for all those things in a very subtle way. We don't even, you know, give importance to the being. And being emotional being emotional healing can only happen when the being is very powerful and life according to me with the little understanding i have life is an experience so right now i sit here i don't do anything doing not even eating see watching listening appreciation getting any award reward gift just like this, can I experience peace? Can I experience happiness? If yes is the answer, you have understood life. If since childhood, my experience of peace and happiness was related to the dependency is by doing something. <coughs> doing is also a problem, friends. If my consciousness is everything to do, I'll give you a simple example. 
Suppose Gireshwar is invited by sister to come here and speak. Yeah. And let us assume suddenly there is a change in the program and I will relate it to myself and because I keep a check on what is Girish ultimately at the end of the day? Who is Girish? So let us assume there is a senior sister who has come here and uh, Lakshmi sister says Girish Bhai because she's senior to you uh, and there is a shortage of time so she will address the audience you will not I said, okay. Then my first question is, what do I do? What do I do? So sister, I said, calm karo. You come at 4.30. Set all the chairs. Sweep all the stage. Decorate all the... Now this doing, setting all the chairs and setting the stage is a pain. Doing gives me happiness, gives me respect, gives me, makes me feel good and certain doing is not making me feel good. So if Girish life's experience is everything in doing, even though I'm wearing a white white, I call myself spiritual. Believe me friends, you're missing out on the beauty of life because life is an experience. Without doing anything, doing and setting the chair, doing the speaking part, all three gives me the same, not gives me, I experience the same <coughs> aspects of life of peace, love, self-respect, honor. And if I can understand this beautiful part, then I think we are all spiritual. You know why? Because we understand the reality of life. So this consciousness of doing the consciousness of having and getting, if we can transcend ourselves to that state of being, being loved, being peace, being happy, for no reason, just like that. Because you are like that. That's how the reality is. That's how the, the intelligence of nature has made you and me irrespective of caste, creed, nationality, language, intelligence. So life is an experience. So the soul, the being is nothing but a soul, a very beautiful transient energy, full of peace, love, happiness in its original state. And when it is colored with all these having, doing, relating to the external consciousness of body and doing, that's how we miss onto the beauty of the original nature of the soul. So the first understanding of emotional healing is, I need to come consciously, deliberately, purposefully, I need to come to this original state and that's what I call it as maybe meditation, sadhana, bhakti, purusharth, or knowledge in all different you know, languages we use in different cultures, communities and organizations. Because the first thing is understanding the being and coming to that original self. So the moment I associate myself with anything external, if that external is not as per my terms, I am in pain. Because I have related my self-respect to only speaking, not sitting chairs gone with the wind and my pain area because the senior sister has come and then no 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 we should have good wishes for the sister good wishes for the is good wish and my, I am not able to create that goodness because my 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 identity is with respect to the doing and when my doing is taken out I feel I'm you are inflicting, you know, torture on to me. It was my fundamental right to come here and speak. My God, where is freedom? I hope you are understanding what I am saying. The second most important thing, Swamiji already mentioned, maybe he said in that Sardar with form and little extending it more, is God. Because God also works only at that emotional part of it. Nothing more. Because he is an ocean of love, ocean of peace, ocean of happiness, 
ocean of power. I will share a very beautiful story. I mean, uh, this this is what we we, we practice in Brahma Kumaris. Uh, and if I need to tell you, this emotional healing is nothing but the kind of stories that you create here. And one, you know, species who is expert in creative stories is human being. The only problem is we create horror stories here. I mean, it's your choice to write the script. But unfortunately, we are so inclined to creating all kind of negative horror stories. So if you can create a positive story, you will feel good. If you create a negative story, you will feel bad about it. Question, what if, if the fourth wave comes? Thinking that the fourth wave may come or may not come, it is disturbing me right now. So what if, if I think that tomorrow a golden world will come? You don't know fourth wave will come. I don't know golden world will come. You thinking that fourth wave will come, you are in pain. I thinking that a golden world will come, I am happy. It's as, as simple as that. I am not going to be able to do it. I am not going to be able to do it. I am not going to be able to do it. I am not going to be It's as simple as that. Somebody says this world is not 5,000 years. I am thinking 5,000 years and I am feeling happy. You are thinking it is 100 million years, but be happy as he told. Be santushed and be contented. So everything is a story. Yes or no? You create positive thought stories and be happy. That's the purpose of life. So I'll tell you a story. Because emotional healing, I think sister kept this topic because of what we underwent the last two years of lockdown. So much of trauma, pain, job loss, economy, shutdown, human losses. And I'm saying with you know, a lot of sensitivity that I'm not saying that people who lost their near and dear ones, uh, I understand their pain, their loss, but it's all about the story. Pain and agony is a choice. Death is certainty. Yes, sir? Yes. Yeah. So if pain, agony, happiness, peace, confidence is a choice, so create a good story so that this is what the outcome of your emotional state is. <clears throat> so Girish Bhai was in Delhi during the second wave, the Delta wave, the most difficult, you know, variant. And I love cooking, to be very honest. So in Delhi, we have a retreat center, 150 people. So I told Didi that Didi, Sunday I would want to cook Idli Samba for 150 people. Didi said, why not? So early morning after Amrit Villa, 4, 4 o'clock, I directly went to the kitchen and I started preparing. So the brothers who were helping me, one of the brothers was sneezing. I was more concerned about the idli and sambar because ultimately I'm making it and nobody should comment that it was not tasty. So I missed the sneezing and the puffing. And free gift, I also got COVID. So, yeah. so when I tested positive and I went to the quarantine building, this brother who gave me COVID, uh, the COVID virus, he welcomed me with a okay, come, come, brother. <laughs> I got to know because tracing was very important because people were asking, Girish, why you did not even step out of the complex? How could you get? And I was wondering, yeah, to be very honest, I went out of the house. When I saw my brother, ko dekha, my tube line blinked. I said, yes, thank you, brother. <laughs> so I was there for being days. Now I create a story. Everything is psychological in your story. Yeah? And if your psychological makeup is the reality what God teaches you, then to your life is blissful. But if your psychological makeup is unlike the reality, then gone for a, for a ride. Yeah? And the result will be, psychologists will make huge money out of you. See? You will keep struggling and they'll keep minting money. <clears throat> so when I went to the quarantine center, I created a story and the story had two characters. One is Girish Bhai, the other is Covid G. Yes sir. No? Till that time man believed I am superhuman being. Covid brought certain realities to life. 
that life can still happen without a shopping mall. The life has to continue without the cinema, without going for an outing. And those people whose dependency of pleasure and happiness was all these things, they had a difficult time. Yes or no? Okay. So I had no choice but to create a good story. So Covid Ji came to me, there's a story, yeah? And he said, Girish, I want to be with you. I said, to you have no idea. I didn't have any idea. My knowledge is a little bit of a difference from Prabhu Ji. So he said, no, no, I watched you on YouTube. I said, my God, you keep track of me on a YouTube channel also. He said, you have many sessions attended. I said, thank God. It's not only human beings who, you know, see my presentation and my classes, it's even viruses also. Okay. I felt really proud. I said, go ahead, Covid Ji. What is, he said, I saw in your classes that you always remain happy, always positive. I said, thank you so much. I felt really more good. So he said, every thing on planet Earth has a life expectancy. A mosquito will live for a few days, an elephant for a few years, a tortoise for a few hundred years, human beings average 70, 80 years. I said, you are knowledgeable also. Covid Ji said, yes. I said, tell me, why are you here? He said, as per medical science, although they are confused, they say I live for 14 days. I said, fine. So what, what's the point? He said, Covid G said, for sure I'll die in 14 days. But if I like you too much, I'll take you also. <laughs> I said, so what? So he said, Mukti se pehle ek achche sakaratmak vikti ke saath mein thoda time with Arakshan. Before I die, I wanted to stay with somebody who is always positive, always smiling. I said, my God, sansar naas ta kisi ne nahi ka. Covid ji keh raha hai, I went, acha, acha, acha. But he said, Covid ji said, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be really difficult. I said, what's the difficulty? I'm a Raj Yogi, 25 years into Brahma Kumaris. I meditate, God is with me. So he said, no, 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 I can understand what you're saying. But listen to me very carefully, it's going to be difficult. I said, what's the difficulty? He said, difficulty number one, Kovid said, when I'm with you, no body will be with you. <laughs> Nobody will be with you. Those who love you also, they will keep the thali khaneka on the doorstep. And people who will come, you will not understand whether it is a doctor or a compounder or a nurse because they will be PPE. You will not even know who is this person. And maybe he or she will inject you not realizing that he or she is not a doctor. You don't know who is the person behind the PPE dress. I said, nobody will come close to you. I said, hello brother, 25 years spirituality has taught me, God has taught me that me and my father, nobody else. practice hmm. और ये अभी कोविड के टाइम पर प्रैक्टिस नहीं किया 25 साल पहले ही प्रैक्टिस करना शुरू किया था मैं भी ही न्यू 25 इयर्स बैक कोविड जी आपको प्यार करने आएगा एंड आई कैन ऑल अलोन रिमेन स्टेडी स्टेबल इरिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ नोबडी देयर विद मी आई हैव सीन पीपल हु आर सो स्ट्रांगली अटैच्ड टू द फैमिली देयर डेड बॉडीज आल्सो वाज नॉट हैंडेड ओवर टू द फैमिली मेंबर्स दे कुडंट सी द dead body of the dear father, not even once, because the, uh, the, the Brihan Mumbai Municipal Corporation or those people, they took the dead body and they did the funeral. Yes or no? I said, Covid G, no problem. He said, wait, 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 the second problem. I said, what's that second problem? He said, till the time I am with you, your two sensory organs will not work. And maybe the third one will also not. I said, what do you mean? He said, till the time I am with you, you will not smell anything. I said, achha. You will not be able to feel the taste of what food you are eating, achha. And said, for some people, they have complication in hearing also. 
I said, Koji, 25 years, Raj Yogi lifestyle. And the second practice that I did in a Raj Yogi, a spiritual life type style, was to be free from the bondages of the karma Kriya because I am a soul. And I said, Thank you, Govardhi. Two, you are handling. The remaining three, I will handle. Do ko samal de ni. Dal khao ya curd khao. Pata hi chal raha kya hai. Na liquid hai kuch. Yes, sir. So the purpose is to become Karmendriya Jeet. Covid ji made me Jeet in two. The remaining three I'll handle it. 14 days it was pretty easy to manage three because all the other time I have to manage the other two also. It's how you concord stories, friends. It's as simple as that. Everything is a reality. Covid was a reality. But I am not interested in emotional distress. Come what may, it's my choice. And the practices Spiritual practices helps me to go dig deep within it rather than being so externally subjective to the sensory organs. So he said, Covid ji said, Itna asaan nahi ho. I said, what do you mean? Well, aap mujhe sach mujh bohat pasand aage na, I'll take you. I said, the third and the final understanding and the practice, the lifestyle that I practice is, Mar jiva jivan. I'm already dead. <clears throat> I don't exist at the physical dimension. I will exist only to spread love, peace, happiness, the real purpose of life, to make this place a beautiful place. Yes, sir. I'm the 25 years of practice Karai Maharaji Vaji. Don't try to threaten me. Friends, that's the beauty of how you want to experience what it's your choice and the more i can take those emotional what you call vibrations from the almighty of peace love and happiness and enrich myself charge my battery of the being and then in my daily activities the way i conduct myself in my behavior in my interaction with the whole world if everything is rich with love, with peace, with happiness, then believe me friends, you will enjoy every moment of your life. Even if death comes to you, death should tell you, I am ashamed to take you. royal And royal zindagi mana, royal experiences. And that experience is in my hand. I am a master of what I need to experience and feel. And today, you know, people have no control over their feeling. They have no control over their thoughts. They have no control over their emotions. And the primary reason is, I don't sit and reflect. I am a master of my mind. Does your hand listen to you always? Yes, this cuff is involuntary. I don't decide on my own. That's how it is. But I voluntarily try to cover my mouth so that I don't spread those viruses. Yes, so, so my hand always listens to me and it's so fast. Only one condition my hand will not listen to me, that is paralysis. Even if I want to, my hand will not come because the neural connection is somewhere disrupted. So my hand always listens to me, my leg always listens to me. Does my mind always listen to me? And if the answer is yes, you are emotionally strong. You don't even need to heal yourself. So thoughts, emotions and feelings. So if I can be a master of my thoughts, Subsequently, the outcome is I will be able to master my main emotions. And if I am able to master these emotions, the tertiary feelings that happen, I did not feel good. I felt infuriated. So the primary emotion would be anger, 
because of that, I'm feeling dejected, I'm feeling insulted, I'm feeling sad, I'm feeling lonely, I'm feeling low. These are feelings, the primary emotions. So how psychologists explain? Primary building work is thoughts, secondary is primary emotions, and the tertiary part is feeling. Feeling of all but our listeners. What we need to do is, when you're all by yourself, check what are you feeling. Say relaxed. What would be the reason thereof? What's the primary emotion? And for that primary emotion, what you're experiencing, what's the corresponding thought? And if I can do that, you are consciously being aware of what you were thinking and this was the outcome. And if you can consciously do that, that's what meditation is all about. And if I can take my thoughts to a very high dimension of the level of God consciousness, and in that God consciousness state, when I go to that dimension, and if my thought becomes similar to that of how God would think, how God would see, how God would relate, how God would feel, and if I can experience that, believe me friends, you know, you will not be swayed, you will not have wonderment, you will not be feeling bad about what the world is undergoing. Rather, you will be able to spread vibrations of peace. You will not get affected by the external environment, but rather you will be able to guide them, you will be able to give them some nourishment for the soul. So, in the, in the years to come, I want things to improve, but in case if it doesn't improve, I need to be prepared. We all wish that the Ukraine war should stop. We all wish <coughs> that the religious intolerance, at least in India, should go down. At least it should be not there. I wish that the economy of Sri Lanka, Pakistan, and certain countries in the African continent should go down. I wish the Chinese economy and the American economy should move. I wish the Black Sea route should be opened so the trade can happen. I wish, we all wish, in case star conditions are like, doesn't happen, things deteriorate for some reason, what would be my role in those situations? Would I still complain that it is because of somebody else? Or can I contribute in a positive way? So if I have to contribute, then I should be rich. And the best way to contribute is to spread happiness, peace, love. You know, I was talking to a mother and a son who came from Chennai to meet me. And when they came all the way from Chennai to meet me, I was talking to them today afternoon. Uh, so they had lot of challenges. So the mother was sitting next to the son. I individually met both of them and the mother was crying, crying, crying. And I said, why are you crying? She said, I want my son to do this. I want my son to do this, come out of the problem. I said, that means you want your son to be happy? Why well, yes. But because you are crying, how would the son be happy? So if you want your near and dear ones to be happy, to be stable, to be peaceful, to be serene, the first understanding is you should be like that. At least your family friends should know that my mom is stable. In a hilarious note, I'll tell you something interesting. You know, the mother and the daughter came to me. The mother was complaining against the daughter, Sir, please. You know, tell her to get married, to get married, to get married. I said, what's your problem? Why are you not getting married? So she said, sir, I want to speak to you all and you're not in the presence of my mother. I said, okay, I mean, if, are you comfortable? The mother said, okay. I said, now tell me, why are you not getting married? You know what she said? Mere mommy papa ko dekh kar ke shadi kar <laughs> So you should be an example in a sample. Yes or no? 
So if you want your child to be happy, can you be an example and example, be an embodiment of happiness, come upon me? Then the other person will also feel, I want to be like mama, I want to be like dad. Is rock solid, emotionally very strong. So, two, three things we need to understand. If I am to heal myself, number one, as Prabhuji mentioned, I need to understand the being, which, which feels, which emotes, which lives, which experiences the soul. And life is an experience of peace, love, happiness, bliss, power. So that's the first understanding. Second, the source of all this emotion is the Almighty God. He is an ocean of bliss, ocean of peace, ocean of happiness. So, I share this example. I don't know whether you've heard it before or not. But this is my last example. <coughs> I am a, a great uh, you know, fan follower of all the deities, all establishers of religion. Not because they propagated some message, because of the personality they had, the character they had. So I'm relating it to this beautiful personality and I try to follow it. So, if you look at Lord Krishna, life, and try to relate it with me, my life, so this personality was always confronted with problem, 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 and problem. Yes, sir. How many of you were born in a jail? When you were born, sweets were being distributed. But when Sri Krishna was born, his uncle started killing all the babies in the town. Itna to problem aapko nahi tha na? That somebody is having a gun outside the maternity home and waiting for Girish to come out and shoot him down. No, no, yes. They were ready to welcome me. Yes, and celebrate. So look at Krishna's life. Before he is born problems, and the last breath he took, confronted with problem, 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 problem. And never ever Krishna's face. And the moment I reach home, what consciousness is? Yeah? I'll tell only one instance. Mahabharata, when <clears throat> Gandhari came to know that Krishna will fight for the Pandavas against the Kauravas, she came to know that my hundred children will definitely be killed. So he is on the other side. Swa Ichit Vrityu Prat Karnevala Bhishma Pitama Guru Drom and Kundal or Kavachwala Karna will also Pandavo ko they will be able to stop, but Krishna is, you know, it's far apart. So when she came to know, and she came to know that my soft children, hundred percent marne wale, she couldn't control her emotion. Putra bo, and she cursed Krishna. You know what she said? Tumhara yadav kul vina aapas mein lag mar ke bhasmi bhut ho jayenge, jaise kuru vansh ka maha vina shur. Ye bhi to lad rahe na, aise क्योंकि तुम तो भगवान हो ना तुम तो करके ठीक कर सकते थे यू डिड नॉट डू दैट आई हैड सो मच ऑफ फेथ ऑन यू कि यू विल बी एबल टू यू नो डिले और पोस्टपोन और लेट नॉट द फाइट हैपन बट यू डिड नॉट बीइंग ऑफ दैट स्टेचर युद्ध हो रहा और मेरे सौ करोड़ पुत्रों की मृत्यु होगी एंड शी कर्स एंड द मोमेंट लॉर्ड कृष्णा हर्ड दिस कृष्णा इज इक्वल टू सत and what is satya? The chitta is satya. The body is not satya. The consciousness is satya. Satya, chitta. Ananda. And us Krishna ki jagah par agar ye girish Krishna hota. Kali no ya bhika. To pata nahi ya kata. Gandhari ko kata. Tu man. I have tried to do it. 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 
फ्रस्ट्रेटेड गिरीश कृष्ण के मंदिर में जाकर आप पूजा करते हैं हेलो खाया ना पूजनीय वंदनीय वही होता है जो इमोशनल स्टेल होता है Even when somebody is not saying, so can I become like Krishna? Can I become like those deities who are worshipped so much? So, we are just worship me, but can I become? So, one exercise. I love this exercise. You have done it many times. Take okay? it. Let us become like Sat Chit Anand. Okay? Put your fingers like this. Emotional healing. Put it across your lips. Mask down. Put, push it up. Muskurai. Put your hands down. Chehra aise rakna, smiling. Aju baju wale ko dekhe. Look at your neighbor. And if your neighbor is not smiling, please give your two fingers help. Ye haal ho gaya. Hasne ke liye bhi ungli dena pad gaya. I have a request, it's a very humble request. Tomorrow, 23rd of May 2022, till 9 p.m., be like this. <laughs> Go home and look at your child and say, Veda, <laughs> switch off the TV and study. COVID. <laughs> Pardon? By 24th night, 9 p.m., yeah. the should take me to the mental hospital. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> that is at the extreme level. Gharwale eko mental hospital leke You know what's the state? If you constantly smile, you're not normal. But if you constantly frown, you're not. If you can cry for little little things, if you can blow up your mood, then that is normal. What kind of a daughter-in-law you want? Always smile. But then can I always smile? No, that is not acceptable. But I want somebody to always smile. Yes, it is your Yeah, that's too much. I mean, I don't want you to put your fingers like this and smile. Smile means be happy, relax, come what may. Possible? Whether it is the fourth way, whether it is Satyuk, make a Satyuk right now, today. First create it here, create it around you, create it in your words. That world which is full of peace, full of happiness, full of divinity, full of purity. That world, I got me, I got me. You could be a story. But right now, I am a Satyuki personality. In my words, I am a Satyuki personality. In my Drishti, I am a Satyuki personality. Full of purity. I just cannot see negativity in you. I just cannot see you are like this. I just see you as a person, a beautiful being that's in period full stop. You want love, you want peace, you want confidence, you want understanding, you want acceptance and that's why you are behaving like this. I am a Satyuki personality right now. Today, my thoughts in that mode, my words in that mode, my actions in that mode. If I can practice this right now today, believe me friends, I'll heal my healing to both Durgi Vata, I'm empowered. And I will be able to heal others' emotions in that frequency. Thank you. I really enjoyed interacting with you. If you have any questions, I'll be ah, please present. Whatever you have communicated and whatever I was hearing. Yeah. Uh, you also put two questions and also mm -hmm. you explained something. Okay. I just am not able to hear you. Yeah. You asked two questions. Let the audience also benefit you. Uh, you asked two questions. Uh, I was put to her. I mean, while we were conducting the program. The question was uh, how is life? And uh, next question that you asked, uh, what is life? Okay. Uh, after hearing from what you said, 
can I come to a conclusion? I can't say, can I come to an understanding that the same question, if you put it to me, how is life? Can be positive, negative, whichever way. When I say it is good, why it is good? Because you said it is the external factors that makes it good or bad. We relate it to the external factors. If I say I am good because my thoughts are clear. I am very clear, my thoughts are clear. And how is life? It's good because my thoughts are clear. And what is life? Can I put it that way that my life is what I think and what my thoughts are? Okay, that's what I want to do. Get a clarification from us. Just a minute. Only thing is, I would like to wish well done, my son. And one sentence on behalf of Sheshadri from Educational Trust and exclusively on behalf of Naroja Ude, engineer Dr. P. Krishna, conveyed me to wish the program. But I would like to wish both the speakers a good achievement in their all endeavors and especially for. Radha Jagannath Prabhu. Because it is a pride of the Kanadigas. And he is a pride of Bharat Mata. Thank you. Of course, as usual, I will be protocol that would have disturbed Gandhi Rajiv. Just pardon me. Hope so you might have enjoyed. I have two mics. <laughs> so, I learned very quickly, Bhala Sandosha. Say it, Adi. Bhala Sandosha. 